Hello friends. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can automate your SPX trading bot and we'll check out how the backtesting results look like and how you can make it live in your trading account. So usually talking about the option segment, so the liquidity for the SPX options are pretty liquid. So the volume is also pretty good when we look at it. So today we'll be creating a bot on the SPX options. So may I mind you that this is something that will be automating for the zero DTEs. So zero DTEs is something that is pretty liquid enough for us to trade it. So the bid ask spread is pretty lower compared to other symbols. So let us just get the bot created. This will just take uh, one to two minutes for the bot to assemble it and check out the trades on the historical data. That is how well or how bad the bot has performed and then we can make it live. Right. So over here, I've logged into my Speedbot account and uh, what I need to do is I need to open up the option bot builder by clicking over here. I'll be able to open up the bot builder. So I need to rename it as SPX straddle bot. Straddle bot. So I've kept the name. So for people who are aware about how the options work. So straddle is a option selling strategy that you can use to short the ATM strike prices for call as well as for the put side. Right. So this is a bot that we have created. Now we need to select the symbol SPX and we would be shorting the straddle. I'll just click on the apply template like this. So this is basically an intraday strategy that is right from 930. I'll initiate the entries and whatever the positions are open. So it will get squared off by 3, 330, whatever exit time that I would like to define. And like I mentioned that I would like to go for the zero DTs that is only on the expiry day on the day of expiry. I would like to have the expiry of these option contract and I would like to enter and exit into the same day. So let's take an example that right after the market starts from 930, five minutes later, I would like to enter into a trade and I'd like to exit it at 3 p.m. So this is basically a trading logic based on which I would like to translate it into a trading bot. So once I click on save and continue like this, I can define whatever capital that I would like to have. So by default, I'll be keeping it as one lakh dollars and maybe for the time frame of the bot that is on which time frame would I like to run? Let's say that for the May till June month, if I'd like to run the bot, for example, I mean, during this, the markets were pretty volatile. So let's test out the bot when the market was volatile. So that's why I've chosen this particular time frame. Now, once I click on the save and back this button, so I'll be able to see that my status is currently running. So once it gets the completed status, then I'll be able to check out the report. So this report consists of the historical trades that the bot has taken. So let's see how the bot has performed. It will just take a minute or two to get you the report. So Right now you're able to see the status is completed and over here you're able to see that the notification is also popped up. So once I click on the show report and over here, yes, I'm able to see that that the bot has pretty much defined what it does. So I'm able to see the equity curve right from the 10 lakh US dollars. Beg your pardon, initially I had said as 1 lakh, but uh, I've kept the capital as 10 lakh dollars. So the capital has risen by around 1.3%. So 
so that is somewhere around for two months duration time period so the capital has grown till 1 point sorry 10.16 lakhs dollars and it started from 10 lakh so you have gained a profit of 13k dollars so when i talk about the annualized return so it comes somewhere around 8.07 so that's not pretty bad for a two month horizon with a drawdown of near about half a percent and this is the day average profit somewhere around 100 and $1100 and similar gross loss the maximum profit that the bot made on a particular day and the maximum loss so if i were to check the historical positions in our spx straddle bot so i'll be able to click on the positions i'll be able to check what was the entry time the exit time for us like this the orders which were my entry orders which were my exit orders so mind you over here as you are able to see the time as 7 pm so that is according to the time zone set in my system that is on my computer so whatever time zone that you're in so based on that the date time is created so if you're in the est that is in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, you'll be able to see that the bot started at 9.30 a.m. for the entry orders, 9.35, I'm sorry. And for the exit, it took us around three o'clock. And for IST, it is 12.30, right? Apart from that, I'll be able to see the PNL summary. So over here, I'm able to make out that how well or how bad my strategy has performed on day by day basis. So every day it took two trades that is shorting one call option and another put option. So these are the trades that you're able to see. So this is the row view table view. If I were to change it into a calendar view, I can just click over here view calendar and I'll able to see the heat map of the days when my strategy has performed good or bad like this other statistics if i were to focus on so i get a bifurcation of the winning and the loss making trades that is what was my total winning trade loss making trade so based on this i can optimize from my end so what is my average winning trade average loss making trade so the largest profit i made the largest loss i made so for how much duration i held the winning or the losing trade so currently this is a basic version of our spx straddle bot without any stop loss without any take profit levels so you can optimize your spx bot by adding such parameters and nourish the win percentage as well as the average win so currently you say that out of 100 times if you run this bot around 60 percent of the times you have made the profit that is you have a win rate of 60 percent 62 percent and you have lost your money 37 percent of the times apart from that you'll get to have the cagr so mind you this is for a two month period so in order to understand how your strategy has performed on the longer horizon, you can just test it out for six months or one year maybe. So you'll be able to see the Kalmar ratio that is dividing the CAGR compounded annual return with the maximum drawdown that we have over here. So you get the Kalmar ratio. The more this figure, the better it is. The sharp ratio that is how well your how bad your strategy or your bot has performed by comparing it with the risk-free returns the probabilistic sharp ratio the sotino ratio so all in all this makes you understand how well or how bad your strategy has performed so this is the detail 
statistics that you will be able to find not only for the back testing part even for the forward testing and whenever you are making it live in your trading account so how you can make it live you can just go to the bots all bots and over here you can just click on the go live button you can agree on the terms and conditions you can select whatever broker that you have so currently i have my trader account linked with this speedbot account i can define whatever multiplier i need to set let's say that for one lot i would like to short the straddle for spx for 10 lakh dollars so i'll be just defining it as 10 lakhs instead of that if i'd like to define it as two lots so in that case i'll select the 20 lakh dollars as the capital so once i click on the continue button i'll click on the go live button so that's how my bot has been deployed a few seconds ago so what you can do is you'll be able to find this in the live section so whenever the entry conditions are satisfied then i'll be able to check the positions over here that the bot has taken and likewise i'll be able to get the detailed live reporting on real time basis about this particular spx straddle bot so i hope uh, you got a hold of how you can create your zero dte trading bots and automate it in your spx symbol and get it live in your brokerage account so i hope you understood this and i'll be coming up with another set of videos with another set of strategies that you can translate into an automated bot that you can use in your trading activities so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one